The next two projects that we present were funded as OD special interest groups by companies that need enhanced beam transparency with access to popular proprietary formats used in AAC industry, Revit files and Navisbox files. The first project is Beamer VSDK that provides ability to work with RFA and RVT file formats. This year we added support for the latest 2021 format and files starting 2015 version are automatically converted to the latest version during file opening. Using Toolkit API you get access to all data stored in the Revit file. Ivan Serbinovsky, team lead of Beamer Team, will give you details in a few minutes. Along with property access, Beamer VSDK provides geometry data processing for high quality visualization and PDF export. To give easy access to Beam data for members working at Web Solutions, we implemented conversion to JSON format. You can also convert Beam BRAP geometry data to other BRAP formats such as ACES and 3D PDF for exchange. Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Serbinovsky, I am team leader of Beam RV project. I want to tell more about Beam RV API. We supported the latest file format 2021. So we also update API for the new file format. We provide full access to the data stored in the file. We create API for access to data and we continue develop it for convenient work with class-specific data, creation and modification data of the elements. It's developing for data in the latest file formats and all algorithm also works with data in latest format. Currently it is 2021 and files beginning from version 2015 automatically converts to the latest during opening. That files also can be saved in the latest format. For interaction with data of elements also there are parameters. Each class has parameters. When you ask parameters for an element, they will be collected by its hierarchy automatically and you will get list of parameters for the element. After that you can get parameters value for each of them. Visualization. File reading and visualization are in production state. I want to show several visualization example. First is a complex uh, hotel building. Uh, you see 3D representation of this view. Uh, we draw all elements which contain geometries. They are using materials which contain different uh, settings for different visual styles, different colors, uh, fill patterns, uh, textures and so on. We are using all this information for visualization model. And the uh, result you can see on the screen for this complex model. Uh, also, I want to show several examples for sections. Uh, this is also building. Uh, this uh, information are not stored inside file. We create a section on the fly and fill gaps in elements by the settings in materials. Uh, so, result you can see on the screen. Also on the screen you can see different annotation elements like levels, dimensions, grids and so on. They also doesn't contain geometry inside files and we create it for the view. Uh, one more example of uh, sectioning is uh, area plan. We also create this geometry and fill different gaps in elements by fill patterns and so on. So result you can see on the screen. And uh, one more example is list with several views on the same screen. Uh, you see several sections which created for this building and also 3D representation for this building. But uh, parts of uh, 3D view was cutted by settings of sectioning for the 3D view. And uh, one more example is uh, one more complex model. Uh, you see this uh, complex building. Currently it's a realistic visual style and we use settings for this visual style and we can change it to shaded mode and see another representation for materials. For example, roof have gray color for realistic and in shaded mode roof has red colors. Uh, also, we can 
turn off visibility for ages for this uh, uh, model and we will see absolutely the same geometry but with uh, without ages so you see this model also the same set of buildings all elements but uh, geometry without edges so also we can get parameters for any element for example I select roof and uh, we can open dialog with uh, parameters for this element and uh, see them uh, we can group these parameters by different groups which are uh, stored inside parameters description and the file also we can group them alphabetically all parameters uh, and uh, we can also have representation so named built-in mode uh, this is like parameters are stored inside the file i will continue with latest visualization enhancement first is graphic representation of elements we provided possibility to turn off visibility of generated mesh for elements currently we draw only uh, visible edges for elements and uh, their silhouettes. The result you can see on this complex model. And I want to show you one more complex model. This is building with a lot of different elements inside and you see also result elements with visible edges and their silhouettes. We also implemented coloring for sections. It uses legend which correspond with zones, areas, rooms and their colors. On the screen you can see several examples of this functionality for different files in different sections view. Next visualization enhancement is using workset. For example, we created a file with several worksets. So different elements are created for different worksets. We can disable workset and all elements from them will be disappear. And we can turn off one more workset with several walls on the floor and we will see result so and also we can turn off uh, work set for whole building and uh, turn on one previous work set and see result you see result on the screen uh, whole building was uh, disappear and uh, you see only chairs and desks on the screen. Recently we've implemented new functionality colored consistent unloading. This is simple API to tell Beam RV if you want to keep the element in memory or not. That gives you an ability to be more confident about memory situation. For example, some rare reused element can be dumped on disk and decrease memory usage. Our calculation shows that on average files about 1 GB gain can be up to 30 patents. Implementing this functionality, we keep in mind high memory usage peaks on conversion of files. So we redesign conversion mechanism in such a way that despite complex relationships between elements, so we try never use more than one element on a time on a single step. So let's make memory consumption more smooth and allow us to get benefits from consumption and loading mechanism even on conversion time. You can take a look how simple it is to introduce your custom conditions. Next very important area is possibility to create or edit elements for Revit files. This functionality is under development and I want to tell more about current situation. So we can create set of elements. First of all is a curve element, it contains geometry for different curves like lines, arcs, ellipses, hermit spline and so on. Also we can create custom parameters and in their instances, connectors, materials. Uh, we can create set of view based elements like 3D view, section view, levels and so on. Uh, also, we can create uh, direct shape and freeform elements. This uh, very important element, uh, they can be used for storing customer geometries inside Revit files. And we actively work on possibility to create different forms for families, families itself and uh, family import. Forms a base element for creation 3D geometry of families. They contain bereft geometry inside. 
For creation, we need to get data from the customer and fill the element body. Next, by the data, we will generate BRAP geometries, steps which are used for interaction between elements and other data. Extrusion revolution sweep forms are in production state. Latest enhancement for families is creation blend element. And we continue work on possibility to create sweep blend element. Next enhancement is Boolean operation between forms. This is very important functionality for creation complex families. So on the screen you can see example of the wall and several void extrusions on it. So we can call command and cut void extrusion geometry from the wall. We see the result and currently this functionality are working for two forms at the same time and we continue working on possibility to use many forms for one operation. And one more important functionality for family creation is opening. This is possibility to create a hole in host element by loop on the face. Currently this functionality implemented for walls and we continue work on it for roof and ceiling. The result you can see on the screen. At the moment we continue work on family creation. I want to demonstrate an example of creating family. This is window. Uh, first of all I loaded template file with wall. Uh, on the first step I want to create opening in the wall. So you see opening was created and the next step I want to create couple windows frames for the window. Uh, the first extrusion with materials and uh, one more extrusion also with material and uh, next step I will create glass for the window and this one more extrusion and you see result on the screen this is uh, windows family it can be loaded in model and created family instances we continue work on family import. I want to demonstrate example of importing families and creating family instances. You can see the building on the screen. Uh, the model uh, already has this set of families imported in the model and it has only one window inside. And uh, I want to import several uh, families for windows inside the model. First one and uh, next one and uh, one more example of windows for the model and uh, we we'll again open the dialog and you see uh, more families imported inside the file for windows and uh, currently i want to create set of instances for imported families for the building uh, you see a set of windows for first family imported in the file and another one example you see additional windows on ground floor and uh, one more example so additional windows is for ground floor also and you'll see we create a set of uh, family instances for different family imported in the file so result you can see on the screen of course we can uh, rotate this building and uh, see the geometry is correct and uh, we see result and uh, I want to save file and uh, try to open it Revit to see how Revit react on our elements which was created by Beam RV for the file. So we open the file and this the same building, the same model, the building with the set of windows which was created by Beam RV API. Our newest plans. For the December we are going to have production version possibility to create all forms elements and boolean operation between them. We are going to have beta version family import, it should work generally, but family symbol can be created only for active family type. 
beta version creation hosted family instances, this functionality also required possibility to modify host element geometry, uh, beta version openings and visual editing of forms. Uh, for the middle of next year, we are going to have production version for openings and visual editing forms, uh, beta version creation, different family symbols for different family types for imported families, creation floor element and visualization linked models. Uh, we are also going to provide beta version IFC export for Revit models. In the end of next year, we are going to have production version for family import. It also should uh, provide possibility to create all family symbols and all family instances. And uh, we are going to have beta version for creation different elements like roofs, ceilings, schedule and so on. That's all from my side. Thank you for attention.